The hair I used was Bobby Boss New Locks in 18 inches. This is what one lock looks like. As you can see, it is not uniform and it's kind of messy and it's going to give me that bohemian look I'm going for. I'm also going to be using this Marley hair by Janet in the same color as my lock, which is 1B. So you want to part your hair in medium sized sections and then that one section you want to split into two. So next you want to take your lock and there is a loop at the tip of the lock. You want to thread your crochet needle through that loop. Then you're going to take one half of the section of hair and you're going to start off by twisting the root. This is just going to help you gather the hair better. And you're going to twist it and hook it, close the latch, and then push the lock all the way down and pull your hair through like so. Next, you want to grab the lock and slide it all the way down and get to get it as close to your scalp as possible. And once you've done so, you want to clip it down with an alligator clip. Once the lock is secured to your scalp, you're going to grab the second half of that section of hair and you're going to split that in two to make a total of three pieces. And then you're just going to create a plait probably about an inch down. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off by plaiting. Then I'm going to twist my hair all the way down. Now, I got this idea from Jazzy Nicole. I think it's called the Jazzy Nicole method. But I kind of, I'm going to tweak it a little bit just to for some added security. And I'm going to show you that here whenever I finish twisting my hair all the way down. All right, so now that the lock is secure, as you can see, I'm going to now wrap it. Now, I've seen Jazz and Nicole and other people, they do not wrap it. What they do is they take their hair and they thread it through the uh, lock extension. I'm not going to do that because I think that I don't think that'll last um, a long time. I think eventually your hair will start, will start to pop out of the lock. So I'm going to take my Marley hair. I'm going to thread the crochet needle under the braid and then just attach, latch the Marley hair and pull one half through. Then you want to make sure those are the same length. And then you just start wrapping. Now I'm going to wrap all the way down until I pass my hair. Because I'm going for a bohemian look, I want it to look messy. So I'm not going to wrap this perfectly. Uh, what I mean by that is I'm going to leave some spaces in between each wrap. Now, when you're doing regular goddess braids or, or locks, you you have to, um, when you're wrapping, you're going to overlap the previous wrap um, for a more clean look. But I'm not going for that look. Like I said, I'm going for the messy look. So your wrapping does not have to be perfect. All right. So I'm getting down to the bottom where my hair is. And I'm going to secure it with a knot. And then that little small piece of hair I have left, I'm just going to start wrapping back up in the opposite direction. And as you can see, it blends in perfectly with the lock extension. Now I'm going to repeat those same steps. So you're going to split your section of hair in half. Take your crochet needle, thread it through the loop of the lock. Grab one half of your hair, twist it at the roots, hook it. Close the latch, slide the lock down and pull your hair through. You want to slide the lock to make sure you get it to as close to your scalp as possible. Then secure it with a hook, not a hook, I'm sorry, a clip. All right, so you take the second half of your hair, split it into two for a total of three strands, and begin your plait. Plait about an inch or two down, and then twist until you get to the end of your hair. Now that you have attached the lock, you want to take your crochet needle, insert it under the lock, grab your Marley hair, hook it, close the latch, and pull one half through. Ensure both strands are the same length. And begin wrapping all the way down until you surpass your hair.
All right, so I'm going to show you guys how I create the knot at the end to secure it. What I do is once I get about an inch, get down to where there's about an inch and a half of hair left, what I take it and I wrap it around my thumb to create a loop. And then I take the end and push it through the loop and tug on it a little bit to get to um, secure it, create a little knot. And then I just start wrapping, wrapping in the opposite direction. So I'm going to be going up instead of down now. And then I just take my hand, my palms of my hands and roll it to create some friction and heat to make the hair stick together. And here is the final look, guys. How pretty is that? Like, I loved, love, love, love this look so much. I left the hair in for three months. I used five packs of the locks, and I think I used two or three packs of the Marley hair. But, y'all, I so love this look. It looks like I have, like, real dreadlocks. No lie. But um, all in all, the hair is super lightweight. I would not recommend going over five packs because it may get a little heavy. But um, nothing bad to say about the Bobby Boss New Locks. I will definitely be installing this hair again, probably for a protective style this winter. But here are a few pictures, guys. I really appreci appreciate you taking the time out to stop and check out this video. I hope it was helpful. See you next time.